visit Mima, M-E-M-A, M -E -M -A, and I got a package today, I did, and it's from uh, Malvern, Arkansas, my friend Janice, and she's enclosed a little note. Today is Friday the 28th, I think, today. She sent a sweet card. She says, she says, Dear Barbara, I went to a book signing last Saturday at Arkansas Yarn Company, that's in Malvern, and got her to sign a book for you. I hope you enjoy it. I was going to try to bring it to you, but things aren't quite, are quite busy here with church and family and plans of a little travel and annual conference as I am mailing it and will plan to visit you later. Hope you and Connor are doing well. Because I'm thinking of you and I get stronger every day because she misses her Gary. Yeah, we lost Gary. She lost Gary. We all lost Gary. And what a precious man he was. She has sent this book. And this is the author that was at Arkansas Yarn Company that Saturday week. And it's Patricia Davies. Davids. Called The Wish. The Amish of Cedar Grove. Now I have to, I have to not lie to you. I opened this package because I felt a book inside, but I wanted to share the note of where she got it and, why, and how I got it. And this, I couldn't, I haven't been able to put this down. I'm down to the very last. I went to sleep holding it in my hand last night, but I'm almost finished with it. And I just couldn't put it down. It was just a good, you know, there's always stories about the people's lives and, and uh, in the Amish books there are always, you know, dedication, love, um, belief, and faith. And this book fills all those, plus a little bit of, but to me, I don't think it's intrigue, it's more like, you know, she pulls this guy out of car, and there's a baby in the car, and why she pulls him out of the car is this a torrential rain, and he's he didn't see the bridge and missed the bridge and felt went into the creek, which was flooded. And really, he couldn't see the bridge because it was flooded. He couldn't see it. Anyway, she saved their lives. And he's appreciative. And she felt falls in love with the baby right away. Now, this book takes place, she's talking about Arkansas. And that's sort of neat, you know, since I am from Arkansas. And, uh, but anyway, it's about Laura Beth Yoder. And I really, I'm looking forward to see how it ends. I know they always end well. Yes, you tell me that. And I know you're right. But this story's very different. A little bit different. And I like it. I know there's no recipes in it, no, 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 but the storyline is pretty good. It's well written, it's easy to read, even for me. This one is large print, which I thank you, Janice, for large print, and thank you, Miss Davids, for uh, this. This is published by Thorndike Press. wait just a cotton picking moment. What am I doing? I'm reading the wrong book? 
Oh no, <laughs> I'm reviewing the wrong book. Let's see, hang on, let's see. Now what would I have done with that book? Oh my, I'm reviewing the wrong book. Oh, well I'm not, I'm not gonna say it's wrong. I'm going to say this is the book I'm reviewing today. And uh, this is not the signed copy of the book <laughs> that Jenna sent me. But, you know, I, I, I'm i a little old. <laughs> I can't, And I read so many books. But the one that I was reading was about in Arkansas. Where did I do with that book? I, I thought this is the one she gave me. Well, I'm just going to, now I've got to back up and find out where the other book. I've only got six or eight books from the library over there on top of that. And then I have Janice's book. Oh, my, I feel so stupid. Will you forgive me? Okay, I'm going to finish this one. This one's very good. It doesn't talk about Arkansas. <laughs> I got two books confused. I can see that right now. But this is really good, and I enjoyed it very much. It's um, Thorndike. Press online. It's called The Wish. And I'm Patricia Davids. Now I've got to figure out what that book is. Hang on, I'll be right back. <laughs> That's what I get for reading three books at one time. <laughs> now, if you look at the photo on the front of this cup, the cover of this book, it's a yarn shop. You see it? You see the yarn in the window? Can you see it? And this is the book that Janice sent me. This is the book that Kathleen Fuller signed an Arkansas Yarn Company in Malvern, Arkansas. And this is called Maple Falls Romance. It's cute. I did read it. <laughs> I did read it, honest, I did. <laughs> I guess I set it underneath the other book and just kept reading on to the other book. And Anyway, this one, of course, it's, it's talking about uh, Arkansas and going to the Clinton Library in Little Rock, catching a plane and everything. But it says, Hooked, hooked on You. And she wrote, To Barbara, Enjoy. And then Kathleen Fulls, uh, Fuller has signed it. And Janice got it for me. <laughs> Janice! I don't know what kind of friend you have, but I think she's a little loony. And I'm talking about myself. Not, not you or Kathleen, okay? <laughs> and if you've never been in Arkansas, and if you do, you get a chance to go to Malvern. Uh, you need to check out the Arkansas Yarn Company. It's very unique. They have a Facebook, too. Arkansas Yarn Company. It's not far from Hot Springs, not far from the Diamond Mines. I mean, the Diamond Field, and uh, not far from Little Rock. 45 minutes, maybe. Uh, or if you're coming from Dallas and you're driving through Arkansas to get to Mississippi to get on to Florida, stop in, visit. They'll welcome you. They truly, truly will. And thank you, Janice. I'm not going to tell you guys about this book <laughs> because it's so sweet and I don't want to give it away, okay? I do not want to give it away. But yes, it's precious. And uh, sometimes things happen. And years later, something else happens that's even better than what you thought in high school or in days before. You'll enjoy it. It's a, it's a, it's a good book, an easy read. And uh, <laughs> she just wanted to be really good at what she does. And she was trying to find her ditch in New York City. And he was a ball player and with... Uh, who did he play? He went to big leagues. I can't remember what league he was in. Anyway, uh, get this book. It's published by Thomas Nelson. 
gmail.com. Or you can visit online. They have Facebook, Instagram. It's TN, that's Thomas Nelson, Z Fiction. Anyway, enjoy. I hope you get it. It's a light read, a fun read, and a good day when you're sitting out on the patio or just need a little bit of comfort. This is a good book. So both of these are good books. <laughs> you're going to be glad, guys, I haven't reviewed all six or seven books that I've read so far <laughs> in the last couple of weeks. But I've got one more week to finish uh, uh, my gray books uh, with uh, Georges Seminole. I love the occult fiction books. I really do. And uh, anyway, I'll, and also today, I got a package. And this one's from, do you remember Suzanne? Yes, she's the firecracker. Her and her friend. <laughs> and you're always getting into something up there in the hills, you know. And uh, she sent me a box. I think both of them went together and prepared this box. And sent it to me. She put a little high, high on it. And look here what I got. Paints. I did, used to do so much painting up there. And my paints are really getting old because I'm painting as much as I used to. It's hard to hold a paintbrush. And some little trays, palette trays. And brushes. Always in need of brushes. And paints. And canvases. Mm. I may have to paint something. <laughs> you think? Thank you, Suzanne. Thank you, Angie. Thank you for thinking of me. Thank you, Suzanne, for mailing it to me. I'm sorry I haven't written. I haven't written any letters. We have some other issues I've had to take care of for myself. And uh, hopefully that will be all coming to end. Of the end of July. But anyway, one thing at a time. That's all we can do, right? One thing at a time. Thank you all so much for thinking of me. And thank everybody else. Remember, stay happy. And re make things, do things, make things, anything that makes you happy. If it's drinking coffee on a patio, do it. If it's walking down the street, looking at your friends' yards or your neighbor's yards that aren't friends or friends, you know, uh, when you get to my age, you wonder where your friends are. <laughs> and uh, But if you leave them, you know where they are. You just can't get back to them. You can't regain the past, but you can always have the memories and they're friends forever. And remember, God has you in his, hand, in his hands. Yes, he does. And pray, pray, pray for Mother Earth. And I will see you uh, in a couple of days. Okay, talk to you later. Bye-bye.